Welcome, my friends, to Module 5, Advanced Confidence Intervals, and Lecture 2, Steps to Developing a Confidence Interval for the Differences of Two Means. This is brought to you by the infamous Dr. Dog, who's going to help you get there one step at a time. You probably remember this picture from the last uh, uh, discussion, and I, I hope you do. It's a pretty complex picture. In this, we have two uh, samples that we've taken, and we're going to infer some things about a difference between Mu1 and Mu2 based on the value of X bar 1 and X bar 2. And what we might look at something like a 95% confidence interval, a 90%, a 99%, that's just up to us. And each sample, of course, has its respective descriptive statistics. Now, this is the one that just scared the fool out of you. It was just this hellacious formula of the differences in the means and z-scores and then what we call a weighted standard deviation. And it's pretty cool. Somebody asks you what you learned in school today, just sling that on them and see what they have to say. Now, all you need to solve this monster formula is to be able to trap some specific values and then organize them using a few steps. Now, here's this terrible formula again in step one. First thing you need to do is read the problem and identify all of the required values. We need to know x bar 1, s1, n1, x bar 2, s2, and n2, and then we're going to need a z-score. So let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 values that we're going to need to know. After we determine all of those values and find them, then we need to find out what x bar 1 minus x bar 2 is. We're going to need to identify the z-score that's appropriate for our level of confidence. We're going to need to find the weighted standard deviation. Now, the weighted standard deviation is this square root of S1 squared divided by N1 plus S2 squared divided by N2. And in step five, then, we're going to plug all of these values in. X bar one we're, minus X bar two, we're going to plug in. Our z-score, we're going to plug in. Our weighted standard deviation, and then we're going to perform our calculations to solve the problem. Uh, now you're ready for a sample problem, so hang on. We're fixing to get after it. Well, my sweet wife's out of town, so I don't have anything better to do than make videos about statistics Welcome back to the doghouse. Friends, did that, did that uh, formula scare the snot out of you? Well, if it didn't, it should have. But really, don't, don't let it bother you. We're going to dissect that little rascal one piece at a time. And when we get through, you're going to be doing confidence intervals for the large samples for the differences of two means at all sorts of different levels of confidence. I'm proud of you. Pilgrim, you've done well to keep so much hair with so many after it. Mm -hmm.